Okay, so just went through the Starbucks drive through um, A couple new like refresher type drinks came out and I've actually never tried their cold foam. So I know I've mentioned that before and a lot of people were like, you need to try it, you need to try it. So I'm gonna try a couple Starbucks drinks today and I'll probably do another one of these another day and put the footage together for you. This is my normal drink. It is the strawberry acai refresher light ice because I feel like you get way more for your money that way and no scoop of the strawberry just because I've had a couple experiences where I got the bottom of the bag of dehydrated strawberries and it was literally just all seeds at the bottom of my drink. What I did get is their new um, kiwi starfruit refresher. Very, very green and it looks like there's pieces of kiwi in here and I love kiwi so we'll see what this tastes like and then because I've never tried their cold foam I got the um, the iced blonde caramel cloud let's see oh it definitely has like a different aftertaste though that's the star fruit I think like it almost kind of even overpowers the kiwi I think all right, and here comes the cloud foam. I've never tried this. I don't know why, but. Oh, okay. It's kind of just like a meringue. Yeah, it's good. I mean, and pretty much, I love their blonde roast coffee. That's what I make at home when I make coffees at home is I'll use the Starbucks blonde roast. Yeah. The coffee taste isn't super strong, which I'm personally okay with. Um, but as far as taste goes, probably like a like a nine and a half out of ten for this one. For this, uh, I'm probably only gonna give it like a seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, no. It has a much more like I don't want to use the term grassy, but kind of like. Very, very much more like earthy fruit taste versus like the like sweet berry fruit taste. Yeah, there's definitely something like earthy about this one, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but I think it will take some getting used to and some people might not like it because of that kind of earthy aftertaste. But that is that. Um, I would give this like a seven, seven and a half. And of course... This is my 10 out of 10. This is my ride or die. But I'll try some other ones later in the week and let you know what I think. Because there's actually a lot of things that for some reason I haven't tried off of the Starbucks menu. So we're going to do that. I might even try some kind of like secret menu items. Okay, so part dose of my video. Because I tried the strawberry kiwi refresher the other day. Kind of weird. Like, I liked it, but it had a really earthy aftertaste. Like, it was kind of awkward. Like, like soil? I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. I don't know. Um, by the way, this is Sarah, and this is Alexis. Hello. Hi. You may know me as Bepper. Yes, you may know her as Bepper from <laughs> Animal <Bepper>. Jam. <laughs> um, but she's also, like, my unbiological little sister. Yes, and, and this is my unbiological sister. Yeah. So, so we're hanging out tonight. Um, we have all these drinks so here. So we decided to continue the video tonight yes. so i asked some people for recommendations on what their favorite starbucks drink is and we also looked up some secret menu drinks so we have a good mix. i've never tried anything from their secret menu i have never tried like anything besides this starbucks refresher <laughs> so this is a whole new world for me yeah we got our um we got our like our trusty 10 yeah. out of 10 this will be my like palate cleanser mm. Mm -hmm. i feel like this video is gonna be great because we have three taste testers this time around yeah so I thought it would be kind of cool to bring in two more people yeah. to get your opinions as well. The first one we want to try first. We'll go with this one. Yeah. Top. So this one, this is a secret menu item and it is a cinnamon toast crunch frappuccino. Again though, sorry for the lighting. Like we're literally filming this at like, <laughs> at like 8.30 at, at well, 8 o'clock at night. 
yeah, um, just like a in a parking lot. Thing. Real deal, real time right here. Um, I work during the day, so this is when I do these things. But wow, that's Wait, I'm gonna smell again. It smells smell so test. Good. It smells exactly like cinnamon toast crunch. It does. Hold on, wait. Hold your hold your thoughts till the end. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's all. Get... Okay. All okay. right, go. Can I try? <laughs> I'm banished to the shadow realm, but come on. You're not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I tried to put on the light. Yeah, that was my face. Thoughts? Opinions? Okay, my thoughts is I'm really underwhelmed. Like, it just tastes like a regular coffee. It doesn't taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I taste a lot of cinnamon, though. Yeah, it tastes like, I don't it's taste like any coffee cinnamon. with, like, cinnamon on it. It's not bad. It's not it's bad. It's good. But it's definitely, it's definitely not like, bad, but it's definitely not Cinnamon but Toast I don't, Crunch. I, don't get, I feel like if you added a little bit of, like, vanilla yeah, or something like, to get that kind of, like, like, like wafery... Yeah, like sugary, whatever kind taste. Of taste. Or if they just like had cinnamon toast crunch, so they could just crunch on top of it. Even though they wouldn't do that. But yeah. like, I mean, good. it's good though. It's good. It's just what underwhelming. Would we, what would we rate this one though? On my thoughts of what it was going to be, I'd say like a four out of ten. Yeah. On its own, like if you just ordered this at Starbucks, it'd be like a That's seven good. out of ten. It's like it's. A good I was gonna drink. say like a six. It's yeah, good. It's like, like a six decent, out of ten. But I don't think I would decent. like specifically order it. Like I feel like having one of those today. Yeah, but it's not bad. Yeah. Like if that was someone's like main order at Starbucks, I'd be like, yeah, I can see why. So this one, I'm honestly so excited for this one. So this one is someone is one that someone suggested to me. This is the sweet. The vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Yes. With white mocha. We all heard it and we were like, Yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah. I'm I'm like, I'm really prepared for my taste buds to be flattered. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's like you could probably even do one more pump of mocha if you're not like a huge coffee person. But as far as like a just like a daily iced coffee drink. Yeah, like if you need okay. caffeine. That's really good. I usually hate coffee. Like I, I do not drink coffee. I hate coffee. I hate yeah, you don't. Coffee. You don't drink coffee. That, that's bearable. Like that yeah. tastes like yeah. good coffee. It definitely has like the residual of a coffee taste. But if you're not like a strong coffee type person, but you still want that coffee, this is a that's good like everyday good. coffee order. Yeah. But I would for an everyday coffee order like that, I'd that give it like, like an eight out of ten. I'd say that's like a ten out of ten for me. Really? Like, well, true. Because like, you don't drink coffee. I hate coffee. <laughs> so like. Um. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Uh, this is the iced latte with raspberry syrup. <gasps> oh, this one. I'm so excited yeah, for this one. I'm like one. really, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm skeptical. Someone was saying for some reason, like coffee and raspberry. Yeah. This was a secret menu item, by the way. Um, the, I think the only one that we ended up ordering that someone suggested to me this round was the one we just tried. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so surprising. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. That's so surprising. Is. I was waiting for the surprise. <laughs> I was like, oh, it hit me. Yeah. It does. It tastes like the chocolate covered pumpkin. It literally, like, it's, it's oh, so weird. Oh, like the little Brookside yes, things yes, or yes. whatever. It's you're so right. It strange. tastes like a. It doesn't necessarily taste like. It tastes like raspberry, but at the same time, you're right. It tastes like those little Brookside, like, chocolate, chocolate covered berries. acai berries. The dark chocolate yeah. acai berries. Yeah. yeah. What it tastes like is like I love those when things. you taste chocolate first and things. then have a raspberry. Like, they're too, like. But it's weird because the there's not chocolate. You. There's not even mocha yeah, in that. I know. It's just coffee. The flavors hit you, like, one after the other. That's why it was, like, a surprise. Like, I tasted it. I was like, oh, this just tastes like coffee. Honestly, this is, like, like, I was annoying. very surprised by that. I'd give and that. And that's like, like a raspberry flavor. I would also probably give that, like, probably because. Seven and a half. I'd say like a seven. I don't think I'd order it. Yeah, neither would I, but it's very surprising. I'd maybe put it in a mocha. Ooh. Put like a pump or two of raspberry. We have to we'll have to try yeah. that. Like a pump or two of raspberry in a mocha. Yes. This one is the Reese's one. So this is a Reese's peanut butter cup frappuccino. <laughs> this is a secret menu item. Getting a little melty, but it's okay. Soupy. So this is a mocha frappuccino with, um, I, we did almond milk, oh two pumps of toffee I'm nut excited. syrup, and a mocha, mocha, a mocha mogul. drizzle. <laughs> a mogul. So this is apparently supposed to taste like Reese's. I'm skeptical of this one, cause like there's no peanuts, there's no, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> okay, that no. good? Come here. No, I want to try it. Oh, that's good. It started melting, but like, that's actually really good. I can imagine that like colder, like more mm -hmm. formed. Yeah. 
That's good. Yeah. It's that's like, like a really that's bougie. a like that's like a dessert drink. Yeah, that's I would like totally it's give definitely that. not an everyday drink. Like I could no. get tired of that so that fast. So but that's good. like that's a, like, like really good. I'd give that like a ten. Like yeah. Nine I'd, and I'd, a half. I would give that a that's ten. Nice. Actually I'm reserving my ten, nine and a half. I never do frappuccinos or like the kind of like sweeter dessert type drinks like that, but I would definitely like drink this entire thing if it was Same. handed to me. This is like what I'm most excited to yeah. try. So this is our last one. This is the Skittles Frappuccino. Okay, I'm but, a like, huge candy person and I always you're hated a candy person. Skittles. But see, I liked Skittles. Out of for the candy stuff, I like like the fruity type of stuff when it comes to candy, but I when's the last time you saw me eat like candy? Never. Yeah. So I don't usually eat that type of stuff, but so Skittles was one that I actually liked. Like when I went to go see a movie and stuff, I would always get like Skittles. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I want to have high hopes for this one. <laughs> I mean, it just looks it visually looks appealing. It looks really good. It's not showing it's up. It's hard to tell in the light. Let me get out my flashlight so you guys can appreciate this beautiful pastel pink. Yeah. It's a really it's pretty really like beautiful. pastel it's pink cool. color. <laughs> all right skittles car is full of skittles drinks. frappuccino so this is a strawberry creme frappuccino Wait. no classic syrup That's two right. pumps of raspberry syrup and two pumps of vanilla <laughs> faces oh wow okay don't drink it all <laughs> See, you need a couple sips to like figure out those aftertastes. None of them are bad. I have my thoughts gathered. Right? It our faces really after everyone were like, like right? Wait, wait. I would almost pin this as more of like a strawberry creamsicle than like a. Kind of. That's my that, go-to. Or I also thought of like you know the um well, they weren't good and plenty, isn't that's a totally different candy? But the um. No, the the ice cream bars, the strawberry shortcake, oh, yes, like popsicles. That's exactly what I'm thinking yeah, of. That's, that's what, what it tastes like. That is what it tastes like. I mean, like. which is still really it's good. It's delicious. Again, I I could drink it daily, but I also I would probably like, reserve I mean, it for like desserts. Yeah, I would drink that daily. <laughs> it's well, it's more fruity. It's not yeah. as like yeah, it's not as not thick as and like chocolatey. chocolatey. So I I could see myself drinking it, like every other day. But like again, <laughs> <treat> every other day. <laughs> yeah, but like it's definitely delicious. Like if you want to try it, yeah, try it. I it. mean, as far as trying to get the taste of Skittles into a Starbucks drink, I think I they did like a good job. Yeah. This I would probably like... give that, like... I'd give that my 10 out of 10. Would that's you? My 10. That's my favorite one out of all of I them. I would drink all of that if you gave yeah, me Yeah, I, I would probably give it, like, a, like, 9. Nine and a half. I don't know why I feel Highly like it's rated. like slightly lacking something. Well, but... probably because Skittles was your favorite candy. See, I Maybe. am not a big fan of Skittles, so I'm glad that it wasn't like an overpowering yeah. Skittles taste. Yeah. Because I hate that like artificial fruit flavor. True. I feel like but... if it was like sour, like, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm like just stupid, but I think Skittles are kind of sour. So you'd have to put like some sort of they, tartness. Skittles are, yeah. 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 Tart's the right word. They yeah. need a, it needs a little bit more. That's why I was concerned about putting the vanilla yeah, in. Yeah, the vanilla. Yeah. I feel like if you put one less pump of vanilla, it would, be it, would it would be better anyway that is it for this round of trying different starbucks drinks i tried some new stuff that i had never tried before and that's actually brand new to the menu like that new refresher and then some stuff that was recommended to me as well as some secret menu items that i had never even heard of so and I would say it was a success. I think we picked some good ones. Yeah. I've never tried anything besides this Starbucks drink. Yeah. I'm like pleasantly surprised. I'm like, oh. There's so I many options. Well, that was my thing. I'm like, I, I know that there's so many options at Starbucks, but I haven't even tried like half of them. I just realized why this tastes like strawberry cream. It is strawberry cream. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, revelation time. Um, But yeah, I would say as far as what my favorite one was, it would be between the Reese's and then the one that my friend recommended to me. The sweet cream cold, the vanilla sweet cream cold brew with the white chocolate yeah, that mocha. Was really if good. I put one more pump of white chocolate mocha in that, I'd be like, oh my God. And I know I would. For an everyday drink, like something I'd order every day, it would definitely be that one. Yeah. So that's probably my number one. And then it would be the Reese's peanut butter cup. Yeah. This one surprised me though. The raspberry latte. Yeah. That one was so surprising. One I wouldn't order again. But I'm not mad at it. It was a good experience. I want to try the raspberry in a mocha coffee. Yeah. That's something I think I would order again to try. Maybe we'll do another one of these videos, like, coming up with our own stuff. Yeah. 
They just oh, we should them. totally I'm brainstorm One pump that. of everything. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when like. I... And the like button. <laughs> but so you know when I post new videos, I have a ton of stuff that I'm like filming, editing, planning, all of the above. Um, all the time. These two will probably be joining me again for some of it. But if you want to do, if you want me to do another one of these videos, let me know. Comment some of your favorite Starbucks drinks and random creations down below, and I'll go try them. But see ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.